Hello children. In our previous class, we started basic English grammar and we started with parts of speech. Mainly, we came across noun and some types of nouns that are common noun, proper noun, concrete noun and abstract noun. Today, we are going to learn some more types of noun. At first, about collective nouns. Okay. Collective noun is a collection of things that taken as a whole or collective noun is a word which used for a group of people, animals or thing. For example, a herd of cows means a group of cows. A flock of birds means a group of birds. A swarm of flies means a group of flies. So, these are collective nouns. Okay. Now, a bunch of keys. You see, number of keys there. So, that is collective noun. A class of students. That is group of students. Class is a collective noun. Okay. A bale of cotton. That is a group of cotton. A collective noun is singular in the form. Even though it means anything. Which is two or more than two. Because it is one group. Okay. Here are some more examples of collective nouns. Countable and uncountable nouns. Here in this picture, you got to see there is one fridge in the room. One, you can count it. There are four chairs. You can count it. You can count. Okay. There are two lamps on the wall. So you can count it. So, we can count them, right? So, these are countable nouns. Things like milk, water, luggage, can you count them? No. Those are called uncountable nouns. Some nouns are uncountable. We cannot put a number before them. And, and they have no plural form. So, these are two important things to note. Okay? So, these are the difference between countable and uncountable nouns. Countables can be counted. Uncountables cannot be counted. For countable names, we can take it as singular or plural. But for so uncountable, we about take nouns. it always as a singular form, no plural at all.